Now, this is big. Uh, West Coast AFL star Willie Rioli has been suspended on the eve of the finals after already having flown to Melbourne to play the Cats tomorrow night in the finals. He's accused of tampering with a drug test. Now, Fox Sports reporter Josh Garlop joins me now from Perth. Josh, thank you for your time. Yeah, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me. Um, this is huge news. Given the allegation here, handing in a dodgy liquid, and we don't know what the liquid is, uh, he'll be punished along the lines of actually being involved in taking banned substances, won't he? Oh, I, I think there's so much uh, clarity... There's not enough clarity about what's actually happening here right now. That The fact of the matter is, is he's tamp tampered with a sample taken on August 20 at training. Um, it, apparently it was either mixed or partially, partially mixed or completely uh, replaced with a substance that wasn't urine. It was meant to be a urine sample. And in the process, he faces a suspension of up to four years. So now, this is a guy that's 24 years old. He's sort of edging towards an AFL star. He's burst onto the scene in the last sort of year or so. And for him to miss potentially four years for what seems to be quite clear is um, some sort of tampering of a sample would be a massive blow for a guy that, you know, is going towards a huge career. And I would have thought that next four years between 24 and 28 is probably the purple patch for most athletes, especially in the AFL. Yeah, especially this guy. He came from the Tiwi Islands. He did the long route to getting to the AFL level. Obviously, the Rioli name is synonymous with yeah. AFL greats. He had a stop in South Australia before eventually ending up at the West Coast Eagles as a mature age pick. He battled a bit of a weight issue and then some soft tissue injuries. And then last year was very much one of the reasons or a part of that premiership run from the West Coast Eagles. And then this year was tipped for a massive year before an injury. But then the late half, we were seeing again those signs of the absolute intangibles from this player, the fact he could turn a game on his head. And as you said, those four years, they are the peak for a yeah. career for a player as they go into that. And to lose them, oh, my, my goodness, what a shame that would be for the player that he is. And for the club. Now, I would have thought that uh, West Coast Eagles would have been favourite to beat Geelong today. Uh, but what's the market looking like now? I haven't seen the market since the announcement. I've been uh, kind of busy, but I, I have no doubt it's swung in the other way. The last Must time I looked at it, West Coast were heading in um, favourites, heading over to Melbourne. But uh, since then, I, who knows? But what, the best, the thing I always like to point out is coaches, players, whoever you speak to going into a final, as they say, we want to keep it exactly the same as to what's got us to this position. Well, having your, one of your best players ruled out before the game, before the biggest game of your season against the minor premiers at the MCG is probably the worst thing for your preparation possible. So it is a huge blow then on the field. He's so dynamic in that forward line and really yeah. can create goals from nothing. So to lose him is a massive blow on the field, but then morale for the team, it surely has some sort of impact. And now a very lonely, alone trip back to Perth for Willie Rioli. Josh Garlop, thank you very much for that. No worries. Thanks for your time.